Today, we're gonna learn how to make this melting glitch transition in After Effects. Yo, it's Herman here, and welcome back to the channel where I share my experience in creating dope short form content. Now, I recently dropped a passion project called Neo Vancouver, which you can check out right over there, but there's this one particular transition that you guys can't stop commenting about, so I've disabled commenting. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's already bad enough that YouTube disabled the dislike button. I figured it was time to finally reveal the mystery behind that transition and let you guys know that I do read your comments to know what you guys wanna see. That's why I always ask you to leave a comment below. Anyways, let's learn how to make it look like you just installed a virus onto After Effects. Now I use two plugins to achieve this. One of them is Displacer Pro, which is free. And the other is AE Pixel Sorter 2, which is not free. And you can get both of these from aescripts.com. Place your two clips that you want to add a transition to into your timeline. And I recommend using footage that matches in some way. For example, the camera movement is in the same direction or there's a subject in the middle with the same shape. Although the melting transition looks pretty cool on its own, like this, but it's little details like that which make the transition look more fluid and intentional. Otherwise, you look like that kid that has a bunch of like crack software on their computer and they're throwing in flashy effects left and right. I used to be that kid, don't be like me. Now apply Displacer Pro to the first clip and change the map layer to the second clip that you want to melt into. There are a few parameters that you'll have to play around with because it'll highly depend on your footage, but the main one is under transform. Now, if you want it to melt up or down, keyframe the translate Y accordingly. Translate X is for left and right. You can also play with the displacement easing for a different feeling and keyframe the displacement offset if you're wondering why all your pixels won't leave the screen. You can also add some chromatic aberration by playing with the RGB values because we all know it's not really a glitch effect without some chromatic aberration. Next, make an adjustment layer and apply the pixel sorter plugin. Now you can play with each parameter to see what it does, but I mainly pay attention to the angle, which affects the direction of the effect, and also the threshold, which affects the strength. Keyframe the threshold until you have something that looks cool. And if you're wondering why it looks like a streaky mess, you could try changing it so that it affects your shadows instead of your highlights. You could also keyframe some noise so that there's more of those pixels for it to grab onto. Don't be afraid to bump the number up to really enhance the glitch. Oh God, to continue the motion of the pixel sort, I keyframe the sorting so that it will invert during my transitional moment. In my case, I have it inverted at the start and then I turn it off when it's becoming the galactic sphere thing. Play it back and adjust the keyframes if necessary. If you want the middle object to glitch a little bit, like in my Neo Vancouver video, then you can mask your object out, apply a mini max effect, keyframe the radius, and then use some glitchy footage as a luma map to get a little bit of that flicker action going on. And there you go. That's how you make a sick melting glitch effect. Now there's a lot of ways that you can use this, but I always suggest having the right motivation for using transitions and effects. For example, using this for a traditional wedding video would feel a little bit weird. Well, I think it will look pretty dope, but the married couple might not unless I was the groom. In my case, the setting was in a virtual reality headset, so it justified any glitches or motion graphics that analyzed the environment. If you wanna see more transitions and effects that I did in there, you can watch the full Neo Vancouver by clicking that little pop-up over there. I spent like a year on it, and boy, was it a long year. Let me know what you plan to use this transition for in the comments below, or what you'd like to see from me in the future. It was your comments that resulted in me making this video. Do me a favor and hit the like button and the subscribe button if you wanna stay on top of what's next. I know that 26.8% of you don't have to, and I appreciate you guys. I'm also on Instagram if you wanna see what I'm personally up to. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.